Okay then. Uh, and I know people are getting quite ambitious now, so um, and I know some people have already already know how to do this, but uh, it's probably worth showing it. If you go to um, webmail, you've already logged in. You go into webmail. I'm pretty sure all the part-time teachers have got this function, so it's probably worth showing it. Uh, if you go into this funny box at the top here and click in there, you'll see there's the Office 365 suite, uh, which you are able to install. Um, if you haven't installed it, then you can do that. Um, and what we're interested in now is Forms. take it back you see if you go in there you can see forms there and uh, you open up forms and you can make a quiz let's make it I don't know test or something like that um, say demonstration uh, you're gonna add new text Let's say you just say family name. Um, you're going to make this required because you want that. You don't want a really long text for this, so that should be good enough. Um, make a new one. Let's say if, uh, give a name. Again, it's required. These things carry on. Uh, you see, you see you have to change that if you want to change it, but we're not going to give any answers yet. Um, let's go on to the next one. We're going to say... Um, 2 plus 2 equals... Uh, let's put in, I don't know, hint, um, write in letters or something like that. It doesn't really matter what you do. Um, and then you're going to add an answer here. So it's 2 plus 2, so it's 4. I mean, it's just a demonstration, of course. I'm not suggesting this is a particularly good question. Um, but you get the idea, right? and you can actually specify things. So it's really good for, you know, um, language related stuff um, and any comprehension, really. Uh, let's see you do that. Um, then you're going to make a multiple choice question, for example. Um, again, you could say 2 plus 2 equals. Um, first option would be say three, second is four, you're going to add an option, so let's make it, oh actually, actually it's even, it's even um, making suggestions, right? um, add another option, and oh look like that, in some cases you can even, I've never done that before actually, it's the first time I've seen that, which is rather good. Um, so it even makes suggestions in some cases, makes your life even easier. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, I think. I think that's right, isn't it? That's the correct answer, so you can choose the correct answer here. There are other things you can do. You can make comments that come up as well when they answer the question. Um, but that's the correct answer. So those are two ways of doing that. Multiple choice. Um, a, box, uh, a text box which is free. Uh, with no scores, um, the, the text box where you give an answer and then you actually specify a certain number of points, let's say three, um, and in this case we're going to say this is also, I don't know, two points, whatever you want to do, right? So you can see the required and so on. You can go in here if you want to add pictures, that kind of stuff, it's kind of nice, right? Um, if you want to put in student number, right? Now I would actually, um, I would actually wait till the end to do this. You can copy a question, right? So now you've got two given names. I'm going to change this one here 
to student number um, and you could say you know sort of eight digits eight digits your eight digits student number now the reason I wait for the end is because you're going to change the, the format that the answers are given in um, and that's down here right now I'm, you don't have to do this but I think if you make it mathematical right uh, that's a little bit better because otherwise you won't quite get if you say when you when you go to get the Excel file at the end um, and you want to order the students you want them to get come out in numerical order in r real numerical order so you don't want that um, those numbers to be saved as texts I don't think right as far as I can see at the moment um, you're not going to give any points like if you want to give points no problem with nothing stopping you doing that um, and anyway so that's the basic idea all right um, and let's see how this works mm. shall we okay so you can then go to share mm. and you can copy okay and uh, you can copy that you've copied it and let's say you want to go to your web class Okay, let's, let's go around again. Um, okay, let's go out of web class. Sort of, you're doing it wrong. Okay, there we go. Um, and you, where is it? Got my site door. Let's go to, oops, why not doing that? Okay, there we go. All right, go into web class. I'm going to go into the original one here and you want to put this test somewhere let's say you go in and here it is you want to paste that put a bit more information let's say here's a quiz and you send it okay now the students can click on this okay this is kind of cool oh look there's a quiz coming up where they put in their family name let's say it's Tanaka um, the given name let's say it's Hanako um, there's a student number look oops there you are they have to enter, enter it as a number uh, two um, one Oh, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make it one. That's eight. Okay, doesn't really matter, of course. And that'll come up. Two plus two equals four, I think. Um, and let's make this two plus two equals. Let's make this wrong. Submit that, and view the results. Okay, so you get three out of five, and it gives you a bit of feedback about that. It tells you that two plus two actually equals four, and so on. Um, so that's that. Be careful. There's a couple of things you should be um, a little bit careful about. Um, but that's the basic idea. So if you kind of need, let's so have a look. Let's go in there. If you go in here, for example, the settings, um, I would suggest at the beginning anyone with a link can respond, right? Show results automatically and so on. That's probably the best bet because otherwise it stops you um, doing it um, after you've done one time. And particularly if you're testing it yourself, see if it's okay. That can be a pain. Um, so, you know, that's pretty good. You've got a fairly robust platform. Um, you've got videos, so YouTube videos, um, you've got quizzes, um, you've got an attendance function. Yeah, it's actually lots of ways it's looking better than the old days, let's be fair. Right? So this is going to be transformative, I think. Anyway, transform transformative, transformational, whatever. Okay.
enjoy